she getting her knees dusty for another man while you courting her and taking her out to these restaurants trying to impress her. You know what I'm saying? She's getting her knees dusty. I mean, on a regular basis, every week after you take her out, she calling the late night dude over here. ain't got half of what you got. He ain't got your soul, he ain't got your mind, he ain't got your, he not built like you, you know what I'm saying? I mean, God love everybody, but he's not on your level. And she's just giving it to him, you know why? Because he don't care about nothing. You know what I'm saying? Women nowadays, they don't like a man that got, they got a belief system that don't got a lot of order. They don't got it, man. They think you better than them, then they don't want to follow you. If they, if, if they feel like you better than them, they, they ain't gonna have no choice but to follow you, but they don't want to follow you. They don't want to follow you, so they want to get a man that's less than them, so they won't have to follow. You know what I'm saying? That's what that's what's going on. So that's why you see them getting it with you know what I'm saying with a lot of a lot of other you know what I'm saying a lot of other ones. You, you see what I'm saying? That's why you see it happening like that. You know what I'm saying? That's why you see them getting with guys that's less than them. You feel me? So, but, and she's, they smashing them too. You know what I'm saying? They're not just, it's not just a friend thing. You know what I'm saying? They actually getting the best out of them. You feel me? So, you know, it's just something to think about. You know what I'm saying? It's just something to think about while, you know what I'm saying? While you taking, spending all that money and time and energy, trying to put the, um, find the right words, trying to find the right restaurant to take her out of and all that stuff. The other dude ain't doing none of that. And she loving it. You know what I'm saying? She loving it. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know what I'm saying? They just, that's that's how they going, man. Um, you know what I'm saying? It, that just, that's just how it go. It ain't, it ain't no, it ain't no other, ain't no other way to go about that. You feel, you feel me? feel what I'm saying so that's just something you gotta think about you know what I'm saying when you so and they and they, and they going hard man they, they going hard they going hard man they they really smashing these weak dudes man they smashing them because they, they they got what you you got a so-called like weak spirit I mean, they got a free, they say they got a free spirit. You know what I'm saying? But they're they not really built for relationships. No, no matter what type of man you are, the only type of man they, they they built for is a man that they can control. A man that they can control and a man that they can get a trauma bond with or an addiction bond. Most, most of women nowadays, they got, they got an addiction. They got an addiction, uh, they got an addiction bond with guys. I mean, with substances, with substance. Um, both of them smoke, both of them drink. You know what I'm saying? Both of them smoke something, both of them drink something. Or they take something, some kind of substance addiction. You know, that's the type of, uh, and they like that. They'll stick with him for a minute. But if they want to write the strong enough addiction, they'll be with him forever until they, until one of them get ill. But that's what's going on, man. They, we live in a society where we live in a society where nowadays women don't they want they don't want to most of them don't want especially after they get out of high school or college. You know what I'm saying? A lot of them don't really want to do it the right way. The good girls they get snatched in high school and like freshman year of college, no later than 12th year of college. Once they get older and older and older. Most of them not used to dealing with, you know what I'm saying? They not used to dealing with nobody like that. So what happens is, they not used to dealing with a man like that, so they get selfish. They don't even know how to pair bond. And at that time, most of them been with a lot of different guys. So they got a lot of different guys' DNA, a lot of different guys' DNA in their system and everything. You see what I'm saying? So it gets tricky. They got all that different DNA all that different stuff in there. And then the next thing you know, you know, they don't really wanna, they don't know how to choose a man. They got, 
their mind has got too many spirits from other men in their system. You know what I'm saying? Too many men has downloaded their essence inside of them. You know what I'm saying? When that baby come out, man. That baby got so many different essences and so many different vibes and spirits inside of him that the baby not even, it's not even by one man. You know what I'm saying? There's too much DNA involved. You know, and that's crazy. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? So, um, that's just something to think about, man. Um, they don't, they can't see the lights. Uh, a lot of the women, they not, they, they not looking for, um, they're not looking for a, a man that's got a strong mind. They're not looking for a man that's close to God. They're not even looking for healthy genetics no more. You know what I'm saying? They're not even looking for healthy genetics. They just rolling with the flow. You know what I'm saying? They just rolling with the flow. And that's causing a lot of, that's causing a lot of problems with a lot of them. They just rolling with the flow. And uh, they can tell, they can tell by the vibe when they, they looking for low vibrational dudes. You know, these you want to. I don't like to use that term of what they looking for guys that, that that's not high, that's not close to God, that don't got the God force. They feel intimidated when they when they uh, come across a man that got the God force. You know, because they know they're gonna have to step up. They don't want to feel like they have to step up. Only time they want to impress you is when you got, they know you got other women and they know you got a lot of people want to be around you. Then they're, they're forced to become a groupie no matter how trifling they are. They don't have them, they still don't have you in their best interest. They still don't love you, but they forced to jump on the bandwagon because you got too much. Your vacuum, your vacuum is so big. You're so magnetic because you're so magnetic that they can't do nothing but help to fall into your warp. Now, if she's young enough, you might can do you might can work with that. If she's young enough, you might can work with that. You know what I'm saying? You might can um you might can change, you know what I'm saying? You might can alter it, lead that to your uh benefit. But if, once you get past like 20 23, once you get past 22 or 23, it, it started getting wearing off, getting kind of sketchy. Especially if she's been with a lot of guys. You know what I'm saying? Especially if she's been with a lot of guys, but she, if she ain't been with a lot of guys, and she between 18 and 21, 22, you, you might be all right. You might be all right. So, it's a timing thing, man, because it's a timing thing, you know. When it when it comes to that, it's a timing thing. So that's something you gotta, um, that's something you gotta think about when, uh, that's something you gotta think about when you, um, when you when you're dealing with when you're dealing with women and you're spending your time and energy, you know what I'm saying? Because while you're getting to know her, you're spending all that time and energy, it's a dude who's with a low vibration and disconnected to God that's getting everything that you're working for. I mean, she may not even be worth you. You're just doing all that because you want her, her affection, her intimacy, and you want to be around her. She make you look good out in public, but she don't really love you. Y'all don't have no connection. She, she don't really have a good personality, you know what I'm saying? So a lot of guys they dealing with just mo they dealing with beautiful mannequins. A lot of guys are married to be and claiming beautiful mannequins. These they, you know what I'm saying? They don't really they, they're not really resourceful, you know what I'm saying? You know. And that's the sad part. They're not really resourceful. You know what I'm saying? That's something that these guys got to think about, man, because they really wasting their time and when she gets you on child support, she gets you on child support, it's a wrap, man. She gets you on child support, it's a wrap. And then you gotta deal with that for 18 years, all because you felt as though, you felt as though she looked good, you know what I'm saying? Looks got you all, looks got you all involved like that. Looks got you all messed up, you know what I'm saying? Looks got you in all that trouble just because she looked good and got a nice body. I think you deserve more than that, man. But I'm Alan Reagan there, press like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. I go live every day. Um, so hit that the like button, subscribe button, notification bell button. Hey, stay prayed up in Jesus' name. 
Um, it's not about perfection, it's about connection. Hey, I'll holler at y'all later, man. Much love, man. And uh, download my latest songs, so Big World of the Rillionaire and Pookie and Ray Ray Song Challenge. Holla, I'm out.